guys so I already took the film off and cleaned the plate and I had started off with some white tips but I decided I'm gonna do it a little different so if you remember I did a review on my eternal polishes or my swatches on these I'm gonna use the dark blue one or the navy from the um, what set was this one this was the Santorini collection so it just came with like the medium blue, the khaki color, like a what, is that white? Yeah, white. And then this navy. I'm going to be using the darkest blue in that one. It is just a regular polish, not gel. I know a lot of you guys like gel. I do too. But I like to, um, what the heck? Why do I get like little hairs on everything? I do like to do reverse stamping and stuff in regular polish because obviously you can't do it in gel. So I still do buy regular polish. And yeah, you could do it with stamping polish, but it goes too fast when you're just like painting everything with regular, I mean with stamping polish. So I like to use my stamping polish for just stamping and then, I mean it does work good to do reverse stamping with and color everything in. It's just I do so much of it I would be going through so much stamping polish, it would be crazy. So I just use regular, I got like hairs on, what is going on? And it's not the polish, it's probably stuck on these nails. It's all the pets in this house, like, but what color is this? This is called Night Wave. 368. It's almost kind of like a purple blue if you look at it, but it is blue. And that is how it looks. I don't know if you guys like, should I do this? Oh no, it's too low. Or if you guys like this light like this. Hold on, maybe I should put it like right on here. You guys could see it better. Okay, so I spilled like a ton of black polish. Got it all cleaned up though. So let's turn that back on. Anyway, I spilled so much black polish, it was crazy. But here's the nails. I believe they're all dry. So next, where is my white stamping polish? Here it is. What I'm going to do is stamp our, no, you know what? I'm going to stamp first. Hold on. I'm going to use baby blue to stamp our um, bottle here. Um, I hope my thing's not dirty. And one of my hairs is on it, but it's not too bad. All right. Um, there's like some dusties on. You know what? I'm gonna restamp it because it was like I don't know, like dust on there or something. And then I got what the heck? I'm just having like malfunctions here. It's gonna be one of those days. I see. Oh no, wrong color. Okay, girl. So let's try this one more time. So that picked up really nicely. Take off those two spots there we don't need. Okay, so here's our bottle. 
Next, we're going to do our little bear here. Come on before it dries. Because I didn't put no foil glue or nothing down. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? You guys, oh, he's so cute in the little like jar. <laughs> I think that's adorable. I don't know what you guys think, but I think he's so cute. How can you not love that? So I am going to speed things up and continue to do this um, nail design here. And I will be back as always ooh, when I'm all done if I don't like completely mess it up from here on out.
Okay, guys, so I am back, and this is how they look. I think they came out so precious. So we got the teddy bear inside of the jar with some hearts. Then we got some flowers here with some birds on the top. We got some uh, jarred up uh, clouds, and then he's got a little emoji face in there. We got some stars, some gold stars going around that. Here we got like some blue and white waves, so that was like a double stamp with some rain. Then here we got star with one white, one gold star with some little ones with both colors. Here we just got one little flower in the small jar with some like green hearts around it. Here I bottled up the, uh, I was going to put the boat on top of like this with the like rain but I just I don't know the jar was like wide and I figured it would like fit in there perfect and then with the moon coming out of it I love it with just like a couple of the stars and then here we got a little piggy and again the wider jar with some uh butterflies so I tried to use like a little bit of the whole plate that's why I did four more four or no, three more uh, nails. I believe I had five and now I have eight here. So I used the rain. I used these little stars. I used the butterflies. I used the hearts. I used all of these jars. The only thing I didn't use was this flower right here, this dainty one right here. I even used this little piece right here, which is right here by this jar. These like little blob of, I don't know what they are. I think it's supposed to go in the middle of this. I used the wave, I used the birds, I used the cloud, used the star, and then the word star. I used the boat with the little stars and the moon. I used the piggy, the uh, bear. I only, I didn't use the stumps, but I did use that one flower to go in the jar right here. And then I used these flowers right here. And I didn't use this. So the only thing I didn't really use was this in this so I pretty much used the whole plate and I don't know I just think these are adorable I love the jars I even like the star but I love like I really love this one this one the flowers are really pretty I like the moon coming out of it right there I think they're all really cute I think they're like really adorable. I love cat's plates. And you know what's nice? Cat's plates. So if you have, um, because I know I do have a few subscribers who have shorter nails. And they say like when I do the Dixie plates, they're bigger. And they like their images. But like they have smaller nail beds and smaller um, short nails. Oh my God. When I did this nail, I totally did not file it in. Because it like broke on me the other day. So I had to redo it. Look at how weird this nail looks. But that's okay. Um. So what I did was. I um. I really do have to fix that. I am going to fix that. Um. So what I did was. What was I saying? Totally lost. Oh. If you're like that person. That doesn't have like long nails and you like your natural nails or you even wear just short acrylics these um cat's plates they work really well they're etched very well they're just like the perfect plate i mean you could do them for long nails short nails but they are really good they have a lot of designs for like people with shorter nail beds so or shorter nails and small nail beds <laughs> So, I hope you guys like this. I think these were adorable. I mean, like, I don't know. The teddy bear in the jar is just so stinking cute. And so is the, like, cloud. Even the star right there. He is so cute. But uh, tell me what you guys think. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. So, if you did, give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed and you like this video, think about doing so and hit that subscribe button. 
and you can also hit the notification bell so you know when I make my next video and have a beautiful blessed and safe rest of your weekend day and I hope to see you guys back real soon bye